Hello, this is Shayna, and welcome to my channel, uh, Crime Me a River. Today we're going to, today is continuing part two of Summer Wells' case. Today we're going to talk about, uh, Donald Wells, Jose, Hunter and Alley. Uh, I'm going to just kind of bunch Hunter and Alley together, because there's really not a lot on them, and besides Hunter's a minor, so there really shouldn't be a lot on him. Unfortunately, he got caught up in this crap, so... And I would like to tell everyone, don't show any hate to anyone, anywhere, uh, not even any of these people. Everyone's innocent until proven guilty. But let's do the damn thing. Donnie Donald Wells was raised mainly by his father, Don Sr. Don Sr. was looking for a babysitter for his three kids when he met a woman with six kids. Don also had two biological sisters. Donnie was just a toddler when he was babysat by his future stepmom. They bought a house for them all, uh, Don Sr. and the stepmom. They moved in and became a family. Don's stepsister, Jeannie, says he essayed her, and when he was 12, he lit a barn on fire, and livestock died from it. I heard like five or six women said that Don did something to them. Uh, Jeannie was five when Don started messing with her. Don first went to prison when he was 18 or 19 for two years. After he returned and he started right back, Jeannie was 11 or 12. She told her mother and her stepfather, Don Sr., that Donnie had been doing what Donnie had been doing. Donnie ran off and hid. Jeannie's mom wanted to press charges, but Don's dad said he would leave her if she did. The abuse stopped after that. Donnie met a chick in a meth house, Pamela, supposedly, right? We don't know. And has two kid and had two kids with her, Donnie Jr. and Margie. The house was a mess. Everyone said, "Oh my god, kids live there." I'm like, what house isn't a mess when you have kids? But maybe this is as bad as the house they have now. The kids weren't taken care of, and they didn't care to be better parents. Allegedly, Don tried to give away his son little Donnie to a dealer stepsister Mary said Don wanted drugs Don stole from his family like most addicts little Donnie was arrested at 19 for being with a 14 year old girl her parents pressed charges when the 14 year old got pregnant I mean, he was dating her, by the way, and then the parents really didn't like him, and then he got her pregnant, and then they were like, oh, that's it. But Don lied about it, saying that they were only 18 months difference, and it wasn't a big deal. So little Donnie went to prison for being a pedo and had to pay child support. Don's mother married a man named Kelly, who people believed S.A. Don or his sisters, Don said Jeannie and his relationship was consensual. Age of consent in most states is 16 or 18, not 5. Uh, when Summer went missing, it triggered old memories for Jeannie, so she called TBI and told them everything. Don said Summer slept next to him in their bed and even showered with her. Don was arrested in October of 2020 for domestic charges and pleaded guilty in april to gun charges don was arrested at his home on october 14 2020 and charged with domestic assault possession of a handgun while intoxicated and unlawful possession of a weapon after he found a male at his home with his wife uh enters in jose candace told the deputy that don thought she was cheating and pushed her down causing her causing injury to her knee I know this part kind of got confusing to me because I thought maybe it was grandness that got shoved down and had the knee problem and that's where it all stemmed from okay police said Wells was drunk and had a 22 caliber handgun <clears throat> in his truck he admitted to having a felony in Utah in April 2020 Don pleaded not guilty to possession of a handgun while under the influence the two jar charges were dismissed he was sentenced to 11 months and 29 days on probation, 96 hours of community service, and had to, he had to forfeit his gun to the state. Candace 
Bly Wells, or just Candace Bly, I don't know which one she goes by anymore, filed an order of protection on October 15, 2020. Candace stated he drinks and throws things and I am afraid of being hurt. He is abusive physically and mentally towards me. I am afraid for my children and myself. My mother fears he is going to hurt her because she is staying in her camper on the property. The order of protection was dismissed by Candace Wells on October 19, 2020 because Don had bought her a car for it. Don Wells' record includes third-degree felonies for theft, burglary, and forgery, second-degree felony for theft and receiving stolen property, and a misdemeanor for uh, some kind of suspension or something. Uh, the DOC of Utah also said that he's been in and out of prison since 95. He was discharged from prison and and supervision in April April 2003. Don is currently in jail for violation of probation and will serve the rest of his 11 months and 29 days in jail. His violation was a DUI, his first, and the mandatory minimum sentence is uh, 48 hours in jail, 88 hours community service, and one year revoked license and $350 fine. Candace says she met Hunter when he was 11, which is even more creepier if there is something weird going on around with them. I don't know. I don't want to make accusations. I'm just trying to stick to facts and what the hearsay that seems the most reliable. Anyway, so I won't include a lot of the things that uh, Jose said. I will link everything, like especially Chris McDonald because he is the one from the interview room, whatever. Anyway, because he has done a lot of the interviews with everybody when when it all first came out, like a month after it all first came out. So I I will link all that in there because it is the best information that you've got out there. Anyway, <clears throat> so they woke up and then uh, they went to the hospital, dropped Grandma off, and then Hunter says he gets... A call from Candace. Now Candace says she gets a call from Hunter. So there's our first dispute. Okay, who called who? Is it really a big deal? I don't know, but somebody's making it a deal. Candace says if it's okay with your mom, and they did, and then they so they went over there and they hung out for a little bit, and Grandma called and said, "I'm ready, let's go." So they go back and get Grandma, and then Hunter says that that twisted tea was for him and he when they got to the swimming hole he went off and I guess he probably drank it and that's why Candace said I don't know what Hunter was doing he was over there doing something else I mean really you could have just said he was going to pee that would have been like I don't know he was over there probably peeing I wasn't trying to look but no she was like I don't know what he was doing I'm just watching this kid but I don't know what he's doing he ran off in the woods I don't know it's just weird and then so here we're gonna go back to where Chris McDonough asks her about who Jose is. Her, they haven't talked in months before this, Hunter, because her and Hunter or Allie, because of the whole blowout that happened, which was over this guy named Jose. So, Candace says, if it's okay with your mom, because they weren't on, on, weren't on good terms. A few months before, again, according to Candace, Hunter's dad came out with all these guys and stuff. Okay, I'm literally trying to quote Candace in this all these guys and stuff and was supposed to move down here and it couldn't find a place to stay or whatever well i really don't remember what this guy's name was i know he's a mexican i think she means jose and she goes on to say that she wanted to she wanted him to stay and i think she's talking about ali at this point she wanted ali wanted him to stay and she was also staying in my house I said, well, if you're going to be with him, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, that's y'all's thing. And I don't know, they did whatever they did because I didn't really pay attention. I just hung out with my kids and my mom. Mm-hmm. Very unlikely story, Candace. Anyway. And then the one day he just goes... I like tick. Uh, I like chicks with dicks. After that, her and him 
did whatever she got all pissed off and just said told my mom take me and my kids back to my place I'm out of here so I don't know what really happened so ever since that they haven't been friends Candace says Jose was ditched at her house and her mom had to drive him to North Carolina to Chick's house anyway so and then in Hunter's story some of the difference are like he says that Candace called him and not the other way around and uh, also when they were at the drive through waiting for grandma's meds either picking them up or dropping them off I think it was dropping them off uh, he says that Candace got a call because you know Don calls her at lunchtime usually during the day which makes sense I mean it's not unusual and um, why they were there he said that somebody on the property there was some guy on the property who'd been there for like a week he said and who likes to touch the little kids so I don't know what that means and then Hunter says like give him hugs or something I don't know I thought that was funny because that's probably not what they meant Hunter says that where they were at the swimming hole that summer went underwater for only a few seconds and he had to go over and pull her up out of it and Candace says that's a lie because she wasn't even in deep enough water to to go underwater and not only that but there was no rocks in the water either which okay sure but those are those discrepancies also uh ally says that summer was asleep when they showed up candace says that's not true because she never even walked over the truck to know so hunter's dad andrew hiltz brought down 14 plus people from what i hear uh, he also has a YouTube channel if you want to check it out and he brought 14 people with him when they moved from New York to Tennessee The place that they were going to move to didn't work out. So they all stayed at Don and Candace's house for the night But Jose ended up staying for a few weeks or so uh, Or um, over a month or two months. I don't know. He doesn't know either. So I don't know Jose just had just split from his old lady and his three kids and he was basically getting drunk and being a broken man at the time all right and then meanwhile Don was gone in Utah with his oldest son Josie trying to move back with his dad while they sell property or sell the house in Tennessee but Don senior said nope Don got wind of another man being at his house in Tennessee and he drove back fast he said he did like 90 on the freeway the whole way there According to Candace, Jose and Allie, Hunter's mom, had relations. After that, Jose said he liked chicks with dicks, and Allie got all mad and asked to be driven home. Allie and her kids stayed with Candace to keep her company while Don was gone. Allie says Candace was trying to put the moves on Jose, who, so who knows? Candace says Allie ditched Jose at her house. And when Don got home, all hell broke loose. Grandis drove Jose to some other chick's house, like we said, that he met on the internet. Anyway, Jose, here's some things that we also didn't know. Jose is also a felon, too. So when all that crap happened, he wasn't supposed to be around guns, either. That night when Don... So I don't know how long Don was back before the whole crap started. I'm guessing at least a week. Apparently... That's why they weren't friends anymore was because Allie had a thing for Jose and then Candace tried to put moves on him. Even Grandis was hitting on him, I guess. Don ended up getting into it with Jose. He said Jose says that Don threw a glass bottle at him and actually chipped his tooth. And Don didn't get in trouble for assaulting him or nothing. It was he only got in trouble for driving under the influence with the gun. And after that shit show Candace drove Jose to some chick's house like I said Jose destroyed his phone and went into hiding some say he was in the Philippines and that TBI couldn't find him but he did talk to the FBI and has done interviews with youtubers now so that's about as much as I have on him Summer Wells was a beautiful young energetic child she liked peppermint candy, playing in the mud, swinging on her swing, fishing, swimming, being outside, running, the movie Frozen, uh, girl stuff like necklaces, 
princessy. She just liked being girly while also playing in the mud. Uh, her parents said that she used to just love chasing the boys on their dirt bikes. And, you know, just a happy, loving little kid. If anyone has any information, tips, or anything that could lead to the arrest of whoever did this to Summer, wherever she went, or what happened to her, or even the whereabouts of her, number a good number to call would be 1-800-TBI-FIND. So that's what I have on here. If I did leave anything out, if I get a comment section this time, last time I had, uh, I didn't turn the comments off. I won't do that on my videos, but YouTube did for whatever reason. So hopefully the comments aren't this time. If they are, I do have a Facebook group, uh, which is private and it's called uh, Cry Me a River. And you're more than welcome to join if you'd like. If not, that's cool too. I don't care. I don't care, man. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, I never added in any of the stuff about Summer that Jose said because, I mean, <clears throat> he would, my problem with it all is that uh, when Justice for All first got him on there, he uh, gave out all this information and stuff, which is cool. But then again, it was like he sent all these interviews of Candace and and Hunter and everything. So he watched all that stuff first. So if, you know, this guy never even met her, he would have had all that info anyway. But I'm just saying I don't believe he met her. I mean, I believe he did. Um, I don't... I believe there's more stuff there that other people aren't saying. I think there was more debauchery going on than they'd like to admit. And I'm going to leave it at that, okay? Everyone is innocent until proven guilty, okay? Thank you for watching. Please love and take care of each other. Thank you. I'm out. Bye.